Gotcha. Mm -mm. Say hello. Uh, welcome to Tech Toolbox. Today we have our amazing tech experts, Nat and Jay, who are going to be taking over today's session to show you loads of cool tips and tricks. Uh, we are not going to give, sneak, give you everything here, but we've got um, how to add payment links, how to add in and sell products from forms, and how to create some automations if you're selling things as well, and lots more. So uh, Jay and Nat, thank you very much for being our epic tech experts as usual. And I'm going to hand over to you guys. Thank you, Sarah. So I'll take over first. I'll discuss the payment links and the new updates we got from Techmatics, which is about um, pay our products can now be added on forms. So I'll discuss through how, uh, what are the steps that needs to be done in order for us to have that. And also, aside from that, we'll also uh, um, show you what are the workflows that needs to be triggered in order for us to automate all the sales you got from those different sources. So let me just share my screen. Uh, just give me one sec. Uh, I'll also let uh live stream to our Facebook group. Just give me one second. Let me just do that. Mm -hmm. Let me just take this out. Okay, got it. Um, I maybe I'll just let uh let that. I think there's an update with a group API. So yeah, so the very first step in order for you to create like payments and like product links and stuff like that inside Techmatics is first you need to have a payment gateway set up first. So in order for you to determine if you have any like payment gateway set up. Um, uh, mainly we use Stripe for payment gateways, but you can also have PayPal if you think you have a lot, a, a lot of clients that would cover like PayPal payments. So what you need to do is you need you need to go to your pay, uh payment menu, and then you're going to go to integrations. Um, let's just wait for that to load. I, I don't think it's uh. Hang on, let me just try to reload my screen. Ah, sorry, it's a bit slow today. Just give me one sec, please. If you guys have any questions about it, um, you can definitely just put it in the Zoom chat. So this is our process would cover um all sort of products. It could be uh, a digital product, it could be a service that you offer, or it could be uh like digital products that you got us at the moment. So yeah, let me just go to integrations again. That's on payments and then integration. And then you need to make sure that either one of these payment gateways is linked. If you have Stripe, you can definitely do Stripe. You can have Autorize.net or NMI. So in my case, I already have linked Stripe. So if you guys are um, having a problem with connecting your Stripe account inside Techmatics, please email me at supportedtechmatics.com so you can investigate. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. Once you already have set up your Stripe account, so Stripe will be basically uh the platform will, that will take payments from your uh from the products that you're selling, uh from Techmatics. So Techmatics does not hold any of your money or revenue inside the system. Uh, we are basically directly integrated with Stripe to manage your revenues. So yeah, so from payments, let's go to products, and in products, this is where we're going to create the. Uh, products that we're going to add into maybe the checkout or it could be um, from the payment links that we're going to create. So Can for example, as well, just, yeah. uh, just mm -hmm. do a little quick jump in. So um, mm -hmm. what I just want to pre-frame what Nat's showing you guys today is that this is an this is an alternative or another way of receiving payments for your goods or your services. So you still have, as usual, if you're selling products from your courses area, digital products or courses, you'd be using as one way of making money the offers checkout. That's obviously one way that you can make money, create that offer checkout, send the link to the checkout. But if you want a much quicker way of just sending someone a link to get a payment without even having to make a checkout, that's basically what Nat's showing you today. This is going to enable you in your 
invoicing area, sorry, not your invoicing area, inside your uh, conversations area, your inbox area, and also inside, you know, just sending a link in Messenger. If you want a really fast way to just go, you know, hey, Audrey, hey, Richard, you want to book a call with me or you want to buy this service or you want to get that special consult package with me, here's the link to pay and it takes you straight to a payment link without you creating a checkout. This is basically what Nat's showing you. So this isn't instead of what you already do, it's just another way of receiving money. So I just wanna pre-frame that there for those of you that are going, hang on, this is really different to offers. Um, you also uh, have funnels and you can add checkouts into funnels. So on Techmatics, there are multiple ways of you requesting and receiving payments. And this is just one of them, all right? Thank you, Sarah. So yeah. So uh, that's basically it. It's a different workaround on like collecting payments inside the system. So yeah. So just speaking up after you uh went to product, just create a product and name the product into whatever product that you're selling or you're offering. So in my case, um, yeah. So this is how it looks like. You need to put the title on top. Whatever title that you're going to add a product will be the title that will show up into your checkout page. So this how, for example, I'll call it um. Uh, the digital guide workbook, except for example, this is a workbook. And then you're going to put description here and in your media, you can upload any of uh, maybe the thumbnails for the product that you are currently selling. In my case, I'll just use our logo for a test. Uh, make sure that your images are in the media library in order for you to upload it. Uh, I'll just keep product uh, collection for now. We'll have a different training for that. And for the prices, you have the option for the prices to be recurring or one time. So let me just maybe uh, walk you through the recurring and uh, the one time charges we could do with our products. If you're going to do uh, recurring and also with our products, this is actually a new update. You can now interchange currency into your product because previously, due to uh, Stripe APIs, we can't do it. Uh, but for now, if you're creating your checkout from the product itself or from the payment links or uh, the order form submission, or it could be coming from the product, uh, from the forms, you can now change your currency into different currencies. So this is actually a new update. Uh, for the recurring, you have the option to adjust the billing period for daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or on a custom date. So for example, if you're going to maybe uh, charge them, for example, every 10 months, uh, every three months and stuff like that. So you have the option to customize the billing period uh, by yourself. And you have the option to limit the number of payments. Let's have, for example, this is a payment plan for 12 weeks. So you're basically um, setting up number of payments for this one for uh, to stop after the 12-week uh, payment has been collected. So that would be for the recurring. If you guys have any other questions about that, please put it in the chat. Or if you're trying to maybe implement it with your current process, don't hesitate to email me at supportedtechmedics.com so I can give you some insights about that. But for now, just for a test, let's put it as a one time so we don't have to set up anything. And let's have, for example, I'll call it, I'll put it as 150 AUD. For the variants, we don't need to do the uh to do variants, but if you're selling digital products, if I mean if you're selling, maybe it could be digital products, uh, but mostly um physical products inside techmatics. Uh, it would be great if you can set up your variant, especially if you have different variety of the products you sell. But in my case, I'll just take that one out, but you can just click on save. So that is our process. We just take around a minute or two to set up. Uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, rename the product. Just give me one sec. Okay, that's all good. The digital guide workbook. So that would take around one to two minutes to set up. And then after you have created a product, the next thing that you're going to do is you need to head over to payment links and basically create your payment link for that exact product. So if you're familiar with the Tribe Card and Stripe payment link, it's actually the same thing. So let me just go to payment links. Uh, hang on. Yeah, so I'm currently in a payment link. Click, click on create new payment link. And in the product drop down uh, um, on the left-hand side of the screen, just choose the product that you're going to create this checkout for. So since you created earlier the digital guide workbook, I'm selecting that. Uh, hang on, why can I? I think I have one sec. Let me just check if I got the uh, product live or on test. 
Oh, why can I click on certain? Oh, sorry. I didn't think I have prices set up, so that's it. So let me just add 120 here. Let's see. Okay, that should be all good now. Let me just go back. That's weird. I didn't know why we don't have. Okay, that's all good. So let me just go to payment links again. Sorry for that. So let's create a payment link. Um, and in the product drop down right here, you need to choose what product we're going to create for this payment link. So in my case, that would be just all workbook. I still can't. Uh, yeah, here's the price. And then from that, you have the option to maybe customize if you want to require a phone number for this checkout, if you want to collect their like physical address and stuff like that, especially if this is a physical product. And you can also allow coupon codes if you're your uh if you're thinking of giving some discounts and stuff like that. Uh, we're actually limited with CTA for this one, so we can only maybe have the CTA pay, book, or donate. But in my case, I'll just put it on uh on pay. And then you have the option to turn off branding if you want, but you can definitely have that. And for the payment mode, once you want to start collecting payments, you need to put this on live uh, right there in that. So I'll call this, uh, just rename the, your payment link. So I'll maybe call it the digital workbook. And to get the link of the payment link after you have saved it, you can just click on preview. Uh, hang on. Why is, hang on one sec, please. Okay, that's all good. So let me just preview this link. And that's it. So that's basically how you're going to create a payment link. You're just going to copy this link, send it over to your uh, clients who is asking for the payment links and stuff like that. Or you can also have it embedded or like link to your websites or funnels. So for example, on your like funnel buttons or website button, just update those button into this payment links. So you can have a direct payment link from Techmatics itself. So yeah, so it really depends on what are the offers or whether the products you're selling through this payment links. But yeah, so that's basically how you're going to set up the payment links. Any questions about that? Uh -oh. oh, I have Recharge here. Just give me one sec. Recharge. Let me just put your... I have two Eva products on Techmatics. As per links, this is sent. Second product also show here. Uh, this seems incorrect. What's wrong? Is there any way to show all products on my web page of embed code? Um, hang on. Is it okay, Richard, if I'm going to show them um your what do you call this? Your landing page that you've sent through Zoom chat? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Is it okay that I show it through Zoom? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. Thank you for that. So let me so just the, check the, on the one that's products. Slash, um, yeah, see that e mm -hmm. that's appearing on two different URLs. Uh, mm, hang on, products far east. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, hang on. I just tried the other you URL, Richard. This is similar. This is different. Uh, this two are similar, right? I think it is because Richard, you set this exact landing page as your default page for products. That's safaris.com. And aside from the uh, like the root domain that you've linked into that domain, you will also have uh something that has the French slash in it. It's actually the same. For example, if you go to techmedics.com, you'll be redirected to our homepage, right? But if you go to techmedics.com France slash home, you also get redirected to your home page. So it's actually the same um the same setup that you got here as of the moment. But just to make it sure, if I go to uh, incognito window, if I'm going to paste uh if I'm going to go to products at spiritsafaris.com rechart, it will redirect me to that actual default page that that you set. So yeah. Is that how you how you set that one up? Is that right? Well, it's possible. Um, it's a bit confusing. It'd be great to have some written procedure for doing this mm -hmm. because it's hard, it's hard to read off the web and quite confusing. Um, yeah, definitely. But this products.spiritsafaris, that really should be showing all of my products 
you know, which is two at the moment, but um Oh, so you want to have a catalog of all your products in a single page? Is that yeah. right? Okay, yeah. got it. We actually have like different workarounds uh, for that, Richard. One could be maybe creating a, a course collection or a storefront for your courses inside Techmatics. We have a, um, I don't think, what, what do we call that? We have a, a storefront like template that you can use as, as the, your like base for the product collection that you want to do with your courses or like whatever product that you sell inside Techmatics. Uh, let me just try to check on that. Let me just go to websites and funnels. If you won't be able to see it with your account, uh, Richard, I will load it into your account after our call so you can have access for this exact template. So let me just okay. look for, I'm currently on website and funnels and under funnels. Uh, it should be your storefront, I think. So just give me one sec. Yeah, you can either have the storefront one or storefront two. Let's try, to, uh, maybe I'll just get the storefront one for now. Um, Let me just try to, okay, let me just maybe preview it. And then after that, I'll edit it out. So this is how this, uh, the preview for storefront, uh, Richard, the idea for this one is you might need to update all the buttons in this page. Your login here is basically what will be your client portal link or like your courses link. So when people click on it, they'll get redirected to your login page. Um, this could be your main, um, like product or your like high tier product for your like courses and stuff you can definitely take this out if you're not comfortable with that but the highlight would be all these boxes right here so you need to update all of this button to redirect into your actual offer page or individual landing page for the products so let's have for example we created a payment link earlier right so that for example when people buy this course one in this first box what i'm going to do is i'll get this payment link and then I'll update this exact funnel page and link that um that payment link into this button right here. So when people have this and click on the button, they'll get redirected to the payment link. So yeah, how do you think about that, uh, Richard? Yeah, that that looks good. I haven't seen I that get it. before. Um, yeah, maybe try to check it out. Mm -mm. Can, can that be embedded on my home page, my own URL? Uh, with products in here. Yeah. Okay. We we actually have a workaround on how we can work that out. Uh, Richard, can you me maybe email me at supportedtechmedics.com so I can maybe send you a little video for that. Um, I have I will maybe re-upload or re-import that uh template inside your account so you can have access to it. So for those who don't have access to that exact template and wants to uh wants to get it. Please uh put uh maybe put your message on the Zoom chat or you can just definitely email me at supportatechmanics.com so we can load it into your account. Thanks, Nat. Uh where could no problem, Richard. So from Leanne, where can we find that page with all the courses set out? Um it could be coming from the funnel, uh uh Leanne, but since we did a lot of updates with our templates, because we now have um what I call this, the template library. Um, and if it's not visible in your end, Leon, please um, email me at supportedtechmedics.com. Um, or eventually, maybe within the day, we'll also update that or add that exact funnel into the uh, funnel template. So just go to funnel template and eventually you'll, I'll, you'll see this here uh, within the day. But we'll definitely have um, this exact page cloned into your account. So, um, Jay, while you're here, can you maybe give access to Leanne and Audrey Friedman for the template, please? Uh, you can check out the storefront one. So, yeah. So, if there's any other people that want to have access to the template, please let me know. But eventually, we'll roll out that template into the final template library. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for so much for that uh, question, Richard. So, I'll just uh, continue with what we have currently. Ah, uh, yeah, with Leanne. Yep, it's coming from funnels and not website so that those people who are currently on our 97 starter plan can also have access to it. So, yeah. So, yeah. 
So thank you for your question, guys. So let me just um go back into the topic we got today. Since we're already done the payment links, I'll show you the different way on how you're going to collect payments in South Techmetics. And that would be coming from forms. So we actually have received a lot of uh, uh questions and suggestions way, way back that they want to have a payment link or a form page or what do you call this, a product page where they can customize all the fields that's being added in there. We suggested to create a form and then after a form, we would redirect them to maybe a payment page or an order form page, but they don't want people to repeatedly put in their name, phone number and email and then go for the next form and put in their phone number and email again. So they want to have uh, those products on the same page with a form so people can just put in their basic information, answer some uh, personal questions and stuff like that, and then that buy the product by the page itself. So we actually have that update, I think last week. Uh, we haven't done the tutorial yet because we have tested it out like multiple days to make sure that uh, we can um, we can have the in and out of the new feature itself. So in order for you to do that, you need to do the same process again. You need to make sure you got a payment gateway uh, set up and you have the product created. So since we already created our uh, products under payments earlier, we'll be using the same product for this, uh, for this tutorial. So we'll have this, the digital guide workbook. And what you need to do is you need to go to websites and funnels, go to form builder and create our form. So you have the option to create your form from scratch, but if you have an existing um, forms that you're currently using and you want to incorporate like payment pro uh, pump, uh, products and payment links in there, definitely do that. But in my case, I'll just add a form and start from scratch. So the best way about having your products into like the forms is again, it will be actually, um, you can definitely customize the questions and stuff like that. So if you go to this um, plus icon on the left-hand side, this is where you can add the element on the forms. And on the custom fields, this is where you're going to add customized fields from the form. Um, we have a quick add here where you can add all the basic information where you can maybe collect from a form but you also have a customized fields where you can ask customized questions about your clients. So that's how, for example, I just maybe grab one in here that I have already created. So in order for you to drag the custom field or to add a custom field inside your form, first you need to add a custom fields first. So just click on add, and then you have the option to, uh, to update what type of custom fields you're creating. So it could be a single line, multi-line for more spaces for the text. Text back list, you can also have numbers, dates, and checkbox. But I'll just use anything that's existing in here to save us time. So I'll just grab that here, and that's basically how that one looks like. If you have more custom fields, you can definitely do that. Just add them in there. But since our main um, agenda for today is to have uh, the, for, uh, the, the products into the forms, the product and forms can be found here in this part right here under integration. So just drag that integration element into your, uh, into your form page, drag it across, put it in the exact section where you want to put it. And that's basically it. So this is how the payment uh, integration look like. If you want to customize on what are the products you're going to add into this form, just click on that actual element. And on the right hand side, you actually have the option to either sell product or custom amount. Custom amount is will be maybe basically best to use for those people who want to maybe have a buy me a coffee page or maybe buy me lunch, buy me dinner page and stuff like that. Oh. Sorry, is yeah, if someone has a question? Okay, no problem. So I'll just go through here. So you have the option to have that for the custom amount. But in our case, I'll just sell products because that's what we demoed earlier. And then what you're going to do is you need to click on add product, then choose the product that you're going to link for this payment page or for this form. So in our case, we'll have the digital work guide workbook. And this is how the product will look like inside your forms. So it's actually really pretty. So you guys can also uh, check out on how to, uh, if you want to do that. 
And then you also have the option to add multiple products and people can just choose whatever product they want to buy. So I'll just add more product into this checkout so we can just compare. Uh, I'll have that, add a product in. And then aside from that, you also have an option to create like different layouts for the products. You can either have a two column if you only have two products in there that you want to sell, or you can also have three columns if you have three products that you want to sell from that exact page. In my case, I'll just do co two columns because I only have two products at the moment. And then after that, uh, before you could have this link up on public or somewhere else, make sure to put this on live so you can start collecting payments. So yeah, so I'm just going to save that. And also don't forget to change your form name from time to time. So I'll call it maybe test product. Uh, product. Click on save. And to get the link of this form so you can start collecting payment, just click on integrate. You have the option to embed this code to your website, to your landing pages and stuff like that. It could be a website or landing pages inside Techmatics, or it could be on Wix or WordPress. So I'll just click on copy form link because I just want to see what the form link looks like. Let me just paste that there. And this is how our form looks like with the product in. So people can just choose whatever product they want to sell. So eventually if you have multiple products in there, you can definitely do that and people can just choose whatever product they want to proceed with a checkout. Uh, any questions with that? Uh, can you create a payment page that would accept multiple products? For example, for a page with a multiple digital products page or items, click a more move. We, I think this could be very, very interesting for you, Audrey, but so with Sarah mentioned earlier, we actually have different ways on how we can create payment links inside Techmatics, right? Another way to actually collect payments inside Techmatics is through our online store function. But just to give you a heads up, just make sure currently on our pro plan or maybe on our beta plan in order for you to have this functionality available with your uh, within your account. So let me just try to go to, I'll see if I can get that one quick, uh, Audrey. You can also have that like form option actually, if you want to collect, like, uh, I mean, if you want to uh, like sell multiple products in a single page. Uh, let me just try to, yeah. We call it online store, um, uh, Audrey. So let me just see if I can get an online store page that we have here. Um. So we have a question with Rechart. If client exists in Techmatics, is it, is it possible to pre-populate known data? Yes, Rechart. All the forms, order forms and stuff like that inside Techmatics has the option to have the sticky contact turned on. Uh, please make sure to turn on sticky contact. I'll show you where to find that in a bit. Uh, just give me one sec. Let me just try to go here. So it can be find, uh, found on like websites and funnels. Uh, forms, form builder. Let me just choose whatever form I can find here. Let's have, for example, this lead magnet right here. Uh, and then on your integration here on the right hand side, click on that. On options, you have the option to have the sticky contact here on. So if you want your fields to be uh, pre populated when someone maybe signs up and maybe fill out another form make sure the sticky contact is turned on. So, yeah. Oh, for Leanne, you're going to have a buy me a coffee. Yeah, this will be a really, really great idea. So just set up your forms into like maybe a certain amount that you're going to collect. And you they are actually, uh, it will actually give them option and how, what amount they're going to uh, choose for that exact page. So if you need any help with that, Leanne, don't hesitate to reach out to me by support. I'll definitely uh would love to help you with that. So for uh, going back with um Audrey's question earlier, so let me just maybe go to my website template. I'll see if I can have something that I have already set up. I think it's actually this one. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is actually a page we got with an online store uh, built in Audrey. We might not be able to cover this one uh, during our call today because it might be 
there could be it could be there could be like some steps to needs to be added in there but i'll definitely send you an email with a tutorial on how to do it we also i think we'll have something uploaded in our youtube uh already for this one so let me just preview this online store that we got it's actually the same process we that we got earlier make sure that you created your products and stuff like that and your um what do you call this and your online store looks like this um, the good thing about having an online store is people can just go to your like products, add them to cart, and then basically view cart and check out everything that they have under cart. So if you guys are interested with that, we'll definitely have a training uploaded to our Facebook group. We already have discussed it, uh, I think, and we have already uploaded a training on YouTube, but I'll let you guys know we updated one and we're going to upload it on our Facebook group. So yeah, so just let me know if you have any questions about it. Mm -hmm. And since we're done with the payment link and the product links, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, a workflow for that one. So just create a workflow. I'll just maybe start from scratch. And then what we're going to do, I'm just maybe giving you a heads up and what's the trigger that needs to be used in order for us to trigger something that's happened from a payment. So on your workflow and your trigger, make sure that you're having this uh, exact trigger to trigger those workflows. So it's called order submitted here, right here. And then click on add, add filter and add your filter. Make sure that you're selecting global products. So in this global product, choose whatever product that you want to trigger for this workflow. So for example, I want to trigger this workflow with what we, uh, with the product we created earlier, which is the digital workbook. So just choose that exact product in there and save uh, trigger. And that's basically it. So that's how you're going to trigger the, um, the workflow from the payment that's been made from those payment links that were created or maybe a, a form submission. Whatever uh, payment that happened to that exact product, it could be coming from invoices, it could be coming from order forms and stuff like that. Once you have this trigger called global product, it will just cover everything. So you don't have to create like individual uh, triggers for different sources. You can just have global products and so that basically whenever this digital guide workbook is being purchased into whatever source, it could be an invoice, it could be from the payment links and stuff like that it will trigger this workflow so yeah and you have the option to add whatever the actions you want to have here you can have an auto email which give them access to the digital workbooks that you're going to uh give them access to after the purchase and stuff like that but make sure you have to put your workflow and publish but yeah so i think that covers everything that i need to set up or i need to discuss with uh the payment links and product forms if you got if you guys have any questions about it, please email me at supportedtechmedics.com so we can help you out with that. So yeah. And since I'm done with my session, I'll have um Jay take over so she he can discuss about uh the dashboard navigation inside the system. So Jay will be covering mostly our US time zone. So if you guys are on the US time zone, you'll hear more from Jay. So yeah. Jay, you can take over. Hi, um, good day. So um, today I'm going to show you how to um, customize your dashboard. But uh, first, I'm going to um, share my screen so you're able to see uh, what's the default. Um, what's the default dashboard that we have right now? So. So, yeah, um, this is the default um, dashboard that you were able to see. And then um, we can customize it by um, each, you know, uh, project that we have. And then um, right now I'm gonna show you how to um, customize it from scratch. So um, as, as you can see here, I have already um, made one earlier, but I'm gonna uh, make one from scratch. So um, first this, all you have to do is just click this add dashboard right here and then um, name it whatever um, project that you're in, um, you know, working on. So let's say um, Techmatics Toolbox, project so for example this is a uh, um, course project that i'm um, working on and then um but our what we what we are achieving right now is the um reports and how many leads and how many um income that we 
you know able to uh, generate in this um, project so um in terms with this um i have to um start with the uh facebook uh, for example um facebook lead generation um according to the form submitted so um if um if ever you have a form that um gathers information from um facebook um i would suggest that you have to make a uh workflow that have to um add a tag from um facebook form um submitted lead so um for us to add the um contacts that has been um generated from facebook all we have to do is just um click this edit dashboard okay and then um add widget and then this is uh, quite easy because it's just like a phone wid widget so all you have to do is just add all the information that needed but um on our side um let's say um, let's count all the leads that we have from Facebook. For example, um, contacts, um, all you have to do is just uh, click contacts and then contacts count. So um, this is um, generalized. So all we have to do is just make a condition, which is we can filter it by the um, tag that we have added. For example, on my case, um, what I have to um, filter it is by tag, which is here, tags. And S, um, I have added a um, tag earlier, which is Facebook lead. And uh, you have to um, click and uh, choose the necessary um, tag that you have to um, achieve and, and then click save. And then um, for the next uh, part, which is I have based this from my opportunities as well. So which is this one, uh, because I have um, made, made a uh, customer journey by um, um appointment book and then to one and then um service by sold and then um on my uh, dashboard uh, we can add the uh, appointment book as well and then the um confirmed and then the showed uh people on my appointment uh, appointments so um the we we have to uh, do the same thing which is uh, click the add widget and then um we can go to appointments and then we can um, confirm it here, which is the appointment count. So um, in, um, on my case here, uh, the, the first, uh, the, I mean, the next um, that, uh, graph should show, which is uh, the appointment book. All we have to do is just um, click the condition and then um, the status should be um, confirmed if um, the um you know if the lead has been confirmed the appointment or new if you have any like um uh, appointment booked but um for on my case um i have to like uh, base it from the uh, journey that i have right now which is um i'm going to bypass the uh, appointment new which is i need to uh, focus more on the appointment confirmed so um if i if i click this and um you know, uh, and uh, click save, uh, all of the um, appointment confirmed would should show here. And then uh, for um, after they, you know, if the uh, appointment has been occurred, uh, we have to add another widget, which is um, appointment count and then showed. And let's do the same thing, which is add widget and then appointment, uh, still appointment count. And then the condition should be showed right here. Okay. Um. Let me know if I'm um. You know, uh, showing it too fast, but um. Gonna just show the um overview on this one, but you can um customize it on your own, and especially make sure that it's um by project, because the the default um the default um dashboard that you would able to see on the um um Techmatics account of yours is the uh, generalized um statistics that you would able. Um, you know, from 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 start. So, um, if you want to base it by, um, project, uh, I would su suggest to you know make your own. And then, um, the last part should be you know, um, opportunities to one. So, um, in case they have uh, you know, um, signed up, and then um, uh, paid for the uh, you know. Uh, project that we have made all we have to do is just uh, um, add widget again and then um, opportunities 
and then um, one right here. So uh, this is uh, based as well on these um, customer journey that we have made. And then um, for the conversion rate, this is the uh, um, you know a special one that have been um, added to Techmatics as well, which is um, it will um, see the conversion rate from the funnels. So um, whenever a contact has been, um, you know, uh, successfully been um, passed through all of the uh, funnels, we have a way for us to um, show it here, which is um, still the same thing, which is add widget. And then um, you would be able to click um, generalize, uh, general and then um, click funnels. So um, you can choose what, uh, what, what, um, pipeline that is um, necessary and then um, you would able to see the uh, income and then the uh, um, one um, and, and then all of the uh, people has been um, paid and then um, if you're wondering what is the you know what, what's the purpose of this object this is one um, best integration as well because uh, you were able to embed your uh, for example google sheet if you have any like a, a other sheet that you want you want to add on your dashboard, which is I have made here an example on how uh, you know um on your uh, lead tracker or some um you know whatever uh tracker that you have to include on your dashboard, um all you have to do is just copy the link, and then um you would able to embed it here from you know um add widgets objects embed. And then um, name it properly, for for example, Google Sheet lead uh, lead tracker. On this is this is just an example though, and then I'll just simply paste the link, and then you would able to um, like track it by um, you know the 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 text techmatics integration with uh, Google, and then um, all you have to do is just click save, and then. Um, Everything will show, and and then you would able to like uh, uh, filter it by date, and you would able to see the um, conversion that you have made for for example this month or last month. And then um, this is the best part for the um, Google Sheet, uh, Google integration as well, because you would able to um, visit the uh, for example my lead tracker on this dashboard without visiting the um, actual uh, sheet that we have. So um, I think I have covered all, you know, um, the necessary information here on the dashboard, but um, let me know if I miss something and then uh, that's it. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Jay. So it's actually a really great addition to have those dashboard customized. Let me just my, maybe try to share my screen. I'll just add something from uh, what Jay discussed earlier. Um, I'm actually currently in the same account that he was in. Let me just go to uh, the default dashboard. So our default dashboard has all the necessary information, like all the revenues, all the converted clients, all the appointments, all the tests and stuff like that inside our main dashboard. So I, the idea of having like multiple dashboard is you can have like different dashboard for different things. You can have a dashboard for your revenue. You can have a dashboard for your appointments. If you want to keep track of your appointments, you can have it. Um, what they call this, you can have a dashboard for your lead counts or like lead management or uh, what they call this. Yeah, for your uh, for all of your leads and stuff like that. So that's the idea of having the multiple uh, multiple dashboard in there. Currently, this exact feature is still in progress. So eventually, uh, Jay will create more trainings about it on how you can fully maximize the customized dashboard option in your account. But for those people, like I know there's a lot of people in Techmatics that's really, really strict with uh, the aesthetics of the system. If you can find anything in here that's not maybe symmetrical and stuff like that, just to give you a heads up, you can edit this dashboard and you can actually adjust the size of this like widget right here. So make it like maybe equal with each other because I know you guys want everything to be uh, to be like set accordingly and you can move them across like stages and stuff like that. So you have those options for your uh, widget inside your dashboard. 
And also, once you created a dashboard, if you have like teams that manages your uh, tasks inside Techmatics, this dashboard will not be uh, visible with them. Um, uh, yeah, will not be visible with that for them. So what you need to do, let me just see the changes that I made. On the three dots, you need to make sure that you manage all the permission and you're going to set this widget or this dashboard public and accessible for all of the um, account users of the account. But if you want to have this private by yourself, you can definitely do that. But just for example, if you want to share with what some of your team members and stuff. So yeah, do you guys have any questions about uh, the dashboard? Are we all good? Hang on, we have a question here. Okay, got it. So we have Mike, thank you, Jay. I see some things that can use the dashboard. Yeah, thank you for that feedback, Mike. So yeah, so I think that would sign uh, sum up our discussion for today. Thank you for so much for jumping on with us. What we're going to do is we'll create more trainings about the dashboard uh, customization because it's actually a lot of stuff in there. And I, we think it could be really, really helpful for you guys to have uh, the dashboard customized because we have been receiving a lot of requests to have the reporting customized because they want to have like specific things in the dashboard. I don't want to have like those like pre-created or pre-set up uh, like statistics on their dashboard. So yeah. Do you guys have any questions for me before we can end? Okay, Richard. Uh, yes, how do you, um, uh, what's the widget for sales, uh, to put a sales figure for book sales in? On mm. the yeah, we might need to uh, maybe create a separate training for that. Uh, Richard, we're actually trying to create a playlist that we're currently having on draft on YouTube. Maybe we'll just give you guys an update with that because we're actually still like learning to use the dashboard navigation since it's quite new. So we're doing a lot of testing to get familiarized with uh, like the menu, what are the terms that we can relate to you so we can be um, in unison with our, all of our tech experts. You're not using like different things from me, different things from Jay, different things from Fabi and stuff like that. So we're still having all our tech experts trained for that. So we can uh, give you like the same exact like data or information about the dashboard customization. So yeah, so we'll okay. definitely keep you updated. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks. And I, right. yeah. And I also have you, uh, I will also email you today, Richard, with your concern with the Zoom chat about the emails. So I might need to check if you might have like maybe unsubscribe and stuff like that. So we might need to check on that one on our end. Mm -mm. Um, okay. And yeah. Any other questions? It's nice to see you again, Mike. I haven't seen you for some time. <laughs> Thank you so much. So yeah. So I think that uh, covers everything for today. Thank you so much for jumping on with me. Uh, thank you, Leanne, Susan, Audrey, and Mike, and Richard. Uh, see you again next Wednesday. If you guys have anything urgent, please don't hesitate to email me at supportatechnetics.com. Yeah. Right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>